Okay, so here is the base plate, and um, as with everything, there's already epoxy on it, but that does not matter. Um, this is the base plate. Um, I am making this to fit an existing board that I have, so I just kind of marked out where the holes are. Um, that's they're a little off. It's because of the board I made. The it's off. Um, but find out the spacing you're going to want to mount on your board and pre-drill like this because we're going to fill this in with epoxy first and the reason for doing that is you fill this in with epoxy that cures then you glass this part over and then you take a smaller drill bit the size of the bolt that's going to go through uh, for the mount and you drill through the solid epoxy that way your wood on the inside is not going to get um, soaked with water which will lead to delamination problems so it's really easy just pre-drill your holes take some masking tape put it on the bottom you want to make sure you press uh, pretty firm going around um, each hole otherwise you know sometimes you might have some epoxy that starts flowing out and it just creates a mess so you pre-drill the holes tape up the uh, bottom flat side lay it flat down and we're just gonna pour okay so we have our epoxy mixed now um, when pouring these it's best to uh, mix your epoxy gently so you don't whip a lot of air into it um, I already have whipped a lot of air into it but uh, that's okay the, the reason you don't want to do that is because when you pour then the bubbles will tend to float up um, and you can get like a not smooth finish on the top um, but there's a little technique I do just to you just really basically pop the bubbles as they float up so just going to pour each okay so I've poured um, all four holes and hopefully you can see this in the camera um, but I have a little you know it's overflowing a little bit which is good that's what you want um, but you can see those bubbles and if you just take whatever you're mixing with and just lightly tap up and down on the surface you can get rid of most of those large bubbles which is going to cause uh, the issues again it's not a huge issue but it's best to um, not have a lot of really big air bubbles near the surface so that's it now um, you're just gonna wait let this cure okay so last time we saw the base plate we had drilled out these holes and had poured the epoxy and it has since cured and I have already pulled the tape off of the underside and that is perfectly smooth I just gave it a little bit of a sand and on this side um, sanded these down and you can see there's some air bubbles in and most of them this one's actually looking pretty good. It, you know, you can see a lot of them, and sometimes the epoxy dust and some um, wood dust will fill those in. I, I just took a vacuum real quick and got uh, some of the big ones out, but the smaller ones, don't worry about it. Just when you, uh, when we um, fiberglass this side later, um, we'll soak some epoxy in there, and we'll see that all that will kind of soak in and, and disappear and it won't you won't see that when you're all when you're all done okay so we're gonna glass the um, flat side of the base plate and that is just done how all the other parts are done place them down pour but yeah I'm just gonna soak this part through 
just like uh, all the other parts. And then I'm going to lay down my additional layers and pour some epoxy on those, make sure they're soaked through. And that's it, really easy. Okay, so as the wings are curing, um, we're going to move on to the fuselage. And I've already gotten epoxy all over it, but that is fine. Um, you're going to start by glassing the flat side of the fuselage. And just as before, you take a piece, lay it down, make sure you have overlap over all the edges, and then pour a line. And again, just make sure that it is spread evenly. And just as before, adding on the additional layers, just place it on, soak it in. And when you put the second one down, it usually soaks through pretty good. And then the additional ones, you know, soak them as best you can and then um, add some additional resin. Uh, to make sure it's properly soaked through and yeah you just keep uh, adding layers just as the recommendations say okay so as ugly as that looks we have all the layers down and it's exactly what uh, we need there's epoxy going all the way around all the edges and um, just as the wings let it cure and we're going to come back to it. Okay, so last time we saw the fuselage we had glassed the flat side and I just with just like all the other parts I went down and cut it cut it right down to the edge and sanded that nice and smooth and um, you can feel there's nothing jutting out and um, so now we're going to glass the top side and I'm again putting this elevating it on top of my little blocks so we can get that glass to hang over the edge. So when glassing this, the top side of the fuselage, um, it's easiest to get your strips and just pile them up. And then soak them through prior to placing them on the fuselage. Um, because it's a curved surface, it's actually pretty hard to um, glass it like we did the underside where you just put the glass on and pour it through directly on the part. Um, I've just come to find that it's a lot easier doing it this way. So you just kind of mush in the, glass, the epoxy into the glass, make sure you have every part um, evenly, evenly soaked with the resin. And then just unfold it, and then we're going to place it onto the fuselage. So here we are, we're going to place the first already pre-soaked layer onto the fuselage. And that's it, and then kind of just massage it onto the part okay so all the layers have been added to the fuselage and there's no bubbles um, it's clean down on the edge so that's good fix that right there and over near the tips especially the front you can see it's not um, down on the wood, but that's okay. Um, uh, that's going to happen there. And it'll be on the back. You just can't possibly get the glass uh, tight on the wood uh, at both those sharp points. But when this cures and we flip it over and we pour that epoxy, we're going to pour some extra here. We're going to pour some extra there and it'll go in and it'll fill. And um, it'll completely seal up that wood 
and of course later on you're going to go and sand and um, file all that down to make it smooth but it's not really that important because it's just the tips it's not you know holding any weight um, nothing's going to be it's not going to be holding the wings on it's really just there to you know poke through the water and be I guess hydrodynamic so don't uh, worry about that too much you know get it as good as you can it, sometimes it helps when this tacks up and gets pretty sticky you can come and stick it down a little bit better um, but uh, don't work don't worry about it too much okay so now this part has um, cured it's a little messy some of the paper got stuck to it <clears throat> it's a little messy on both ends but uh, that's okay because we're gonna pour that epoxy uh, epoxy edge around the whole part okay so my epoxy is mixed and now I'm just gonna pour that line down the edge so down the uh, at the end here um, it's really just as easy as just filling up that gap where the glass did not stick to and that looks pretty good and that is it the epoxy is down the whole part um, the ends are filled now I'm just gonna make sure it is <clears throat> level as it cures and next step is just to cut all that off trim it up uh, and make it clean